Alright, back in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. What was that little look? So, alright, I did a video on this the other... Was it, it wasn't yesterday, it was yesterday. The other D. Two Ds ago. Now, the issue was mixed input. And there's actually a fix for that, but... <laughs> shocker, I actually went all gamepad with this, and... There's a reason to my madness, I'll explain it, and I'll show you the workaround if you want to use mouse, but also explain why I'm not. So, first thing is getting the game into Steam. It's pretty simple, just go to Steam settings, add a non-Steam shortcut, add the uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla EXE into Steam. Now, to get my profile, there's one other up in the community also, make sure you change, change the title to match this. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I think it comes up as AC, AC Valhalla, all one word. So change the name so it'll match. And then in Uplay, just make sure that you disable the Uplay uh, overlay. And we got this fancy profile that I'm going to go over because there's actually a little bit more to it than I thought there would be. I'm actually kind of glad I took the time to <laughs> just play the game a full day with the previous profile that had mouse, because I found some problems with it. So, all right, go to controller configuration, press X to browse configs, and there's mine. And there's also this other one. What's he got going on? Just basic controller stuff? Okay. So, the problem in the previous video is, so right now I'm using all gamepad. Now, if I grab my mouse, that stuttered. So you can disable that. I'm actually glad I was researching it. I found on one of the other... Like, I submitted a bug report, and that Ubisoft was not helpful at all. They <laughs> seemed like they weren't even really understanding what I was describing. Just kept giving me tips to, like, update the drivers to my controller. Like, yeah, that, that's not the problem. If you go down... Controller vibration, turn that off. You now have mixed input. So this is all gamepad. I'm grabbing my physical mouse. Now the only problem with this is you're still going to have flickering inputs. So let's get you know, mouse, E, gamepad, mouse, it's still going to flicker back and forth based on your last used device. But you can't you can play it with mixed input. I am not, so I just started using this Predator bow. And this one has this zoom in. So this is all gamepad. Um, you can see how subtle, like I can get right in there into the eye of the little statue there. It's very subtle. I can move, you know. It's that this is the issue. Is this fine aiming? This is mouse joystick. So now I'm going to grab my use my actual mouse. I zoom in. This is as small of a movement as I can make. I can't You see how it's like jumping like 10 pixels. There oh, there it is. I got it. Ugh. That I tried different mice, I tried all the mouse settings in-game, I tried changing my global mouse settings, enhance pointer precision, I tried everything. I cannot get this to have smooth mouse aim. This Even this mouse I'm using it has different DPIs, doesn't, doesn't affect it, I just can't get it to work. Uh, it's really difficult, so I let that go. Go back into mouse joystick. Look how easy that is. Nice and smooth. So yeah, the other problem was... With this one, so I have this new ability... That I can move... I can aim the arrows.
It's just, it jumps around more on that aim. So even like, I'm just gonna grab a mouse again. Yeah, I can't. It's, that is really hard. Switch back over to mouse joystick. Oh, look at that. Super nice and smooth. So, that's, that's the reason why I am going all gamepad. I feel like this is another one. I get up on my soapbox and I try to I'm always trying to convince people to give mouse joystick a chance. It is not that bad if you mess around with the settings. And in this one, it makes it a lot smoother. So the other thing is just to in controls I made sure to move the sensitivity for the controller. I'm using 8. That feels pretty good to me. But And that was also a lot of, you know, tweaking in my settings here to get it. Like I had to crank up small movement precision. I had to crank that up a lot more than I usually would. But it's just, it's always a balancing act. That's kind of why the setting is a frustration to use. Same here, I had to crank it way up. It's just hard to get it feeling right. So, okay, that is the reason why I'm using mouse joystick. And al oh, also, um, when you're using mouse, it is super touchy with uh, target switching. That was another reason that I was like, oof, I, I don't know about this seems like it takes more of a deliberate movement, a deliberate pan with mouse joystick than it does with a mouse. Because with mouse, I was constantly flickering at my targets. So, that's that. In fact, with that said, let's go back and... Added bonus, we can use controller vibration. Let's go over the config, because like I said, there is actually a decent amount to it. I have a... Uh, it's obviously dual pad. Now on the left pad, I made sprint a hold. It's actually a start press and a release press. So you just hold forward. You know, as you come down on the range... Because that was kind of bugging me too. You can't make sprint be a hold in this game. And I kept the, the toggle. I just I just want it to be, you know, with the trackpad we have a pretty big range of movement. I just want it to be all the way forward. And then I can lessen, you know, let uh, let it up. So you still have middle click is left stick click. So like for photo mode, is both of them. So just, it, that's like very deliberate in the middle. Once you get up to these edges, oh hey, look at that. You gotta dodge. <laughs> so that's basically like here out is dodge. The grips are respectively, you know, up and down, parkour, crouching, Also, on the right grip, I gave it a toggle if you double-click it. So it is now toggled, and you're going to feel a turbo empty haptics. That's just for, like, automatic climbing if you're scaling a mountain or something. So you don't have to hold it. And then just click it again, then it'll come off. So, all right, we've got that. Uh... I switched the triggers, the soft pull on the triggers, are each the bumpers respect, respectively. So you can just soft pull the block. That's going to be your light attack, full pull, heavy attack, full pull is aiming, which is then modified, just a soft pull to fire. And then I just got this bow, so full pull on this would be the special 
which is just the uh, bumper. That's that's just always like a specific thing with me. I kind of avoid major actions on the steam controller bumpers just because they kind of feel like crap. That's one thing I'm hoping for if we ever get a revision that we have some better bumpers. So okay, we got all that. Uh, another fancy thing is just a simple the uh, Odin sight instead of click and hold. Like, will that? I don't like that. Just click down, let go. It's automatic. And then whistle, heal yourself. Up is interact, but it is a turbo. So you don't want to use that when you're like trying to loot a chest, but it's good for, uh, you know, I think I am at full health right now, but it, that's good. Like when you're in combat, running around, go through a bush, just hold it and it's turbo. So you'll pick up all the, all the delicious berries. Down click. That one, <laughs> that just, yeah, for that. Just a little behind the behind the curtain thing. That was actually a pain in the ass. So that's Odin sight. You click down on the direction pad, and that goes to Odin sight action layer. This Odin sight action layer had to have a binding of right stick click. I think that's 24 notches on the fire end delay. On this always on. So what that means is, is it kicks into this layer. It's always going to fire that at the beginning. And then same thing. I had to give this a fire start delay of, you know, 25, 26, whatever. Give it a little extra. So, but on the, um, getting a little sidetracked. As I was saying, up is turbo. If you need a normal interact, just double tap. And now Y is held. Or, you know, you could use the, ugh, the face buttons. Ugh. <laughs> uh, left stick. Click. Click is, uh, go into photo mode. And then it's just the normal D-pad. Down, though. That modifies the right pad to be a joystick. Okay, I think that is actually everything. I try to, I really do, I can't, I mean, I kind of go out of my way to try to describe all this stuff as well as I can. Um, oh, I know what I forgot. Full pull right trigger, which is my heavy attack. So your heavy attack abilities are the face buttons. Well, we don't need to hit the face buttons. That is modified on the quadrants of the right pad. It's the face buttons, X, Y, B, A. You seriously having a rainstorm while I'm trying to talk here? If you full pull left trigger or full pull right trigger, all, all of these direction buttons are modified to be the face buttons. So like this one, instead of being a turbo, as you normal click it, it's just going to be a Y button and a Y button. I think I've been talking so long, it's it's almost nightfall now. So yeah, I talked for the entire day. It's... That's... That's what I do. Hi. You hungry? Looking for a tempting treat? Hold on till I absorb some heat. Some added tang might please you too. I'll slide into an oven fresh bun. And I'm ready for your eating fun. Why don't you try a juicy, good hot dog? Mmm, delicious.